Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 16th, 2023. Well, as you have seen here lately, um, no news is bad news. We, um, we continue to get economic data that suggests the Fed has more work to do, and the Fed is likely going to continue to raise those rates and restrict uh, money supply. But the market doesn't care. Um, so we just continue, we'll, we'll gap down, but immediately buyers come back rushing in to pick it back up. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, as you can see, we've had all of this economic data this week, and all of it has been suggesting that the Fed is going to continue to push um, upward um, on those interest rates. We continue to see those bond yields going up um, in reaction to that, and the market doesn't care. It just wants to buy something. So as you can see here in the diamonds, this is the only index that has that question mark over it. As we continue, we're, we're running into about a month period of time where we've been locked into the Dow um, between the high and the low here, about 800 points on the Dow itself. The diamonds obviously have been chopping back and forth. We continue to reverse every every few days here in the market. And um, there's just been no bearish reaction in here to speak of that's been able to be sustained. So looking in this chart, you can see if the bulls can find inspiration. Once again, I'm gonna point this area out here that we need to break that resistance level to the upside if the bulls are going to be taking control of this index and pushing us on higher and you can see we've got a considerable resistance level here in that chart if we pop through there then i would look for these um, areas right up in here to test for that next resistance level above if the bears happen to find resist um, some um, inspiration in the chart then a retest of this low down here which is a pretty big point move um, would be potentially possible and if that were to break, then once again, we're going to be back down here, maybe testing this upside um, trend um, to see if we can hold some of these support levels. Now, we continue to rest this um, index, the diamonds, right against that 50-day moving average. If I remove all of those drawings, you can see there's our 50-day moving average here in the chart. And it's been going flat and it started to roll over and just yesterday started to turn just ever so slightly back up. So um, kind of an interesting uh, dynamic here in the um, in the market with the Dow being so, so stuck in a range. Um, and then if we look at our SPY, SPY doesn't seem to be worried about anything at all, recession, um, it, it, nothing. Um, it's, um, we, we seem to have gotten into a phase where doesn't matter what the Fed does, we have decided we're going to fight the Fed uh, no matter what. And um, we see the buyers continue to push in here. There's no fear in this market. We found price support in this chart. We continue to push to the upside. Now we still are restricted by this upside range. We haven't been able to push out of there. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration today, that's where I would look for that attack to see if we can finally pop through that resistance in the chart certainly looks like a viable possibility. And then if we can push through there, then I would look for those next levels to the upside. And these are some pretty big point moves um, to test those next resistance levels to the upside. So watch for that potential. Again, if those bears find inspiration, I'm gonna suggest that that possibility we could come back down here and test the support. Unfortunately, if that were to occur, that would break this little upside trend. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. 
here again, if we look at our technicals, we remain extremely elevated above our 50 day moving average. Um, now, we have seen many times where we'll elevate strongly above the 50 day moving average, but that usually um, entails a pretty substantial pullback that comes um, after we do that. Now, what we could also see is more of a consolidation move here in the market to allow those averages to kind of catch up. But that being said, right now there is absolutely no clues in here that the bulls are willing to stop buying and there's no clues in here that the bears are uh, becoming more aggressive. If we take a look at the QQQ, this continues to be our most extended index and it is kind of surprising to me with bond yields moving back higher, there's no concern here at all. Um, um, from the buyers. It's just get out of my way. I want to hurry up and buy something. We can have a bad earnings report on a stock. It gaps lower just one morning and then the buyers rush back in and they're pushing it back up to the highs or highs above where it started before the earnings report. So it's just a rush to buy something here in this market and there seems to be zero concern um, at all about those economic numbers. So that being said, if we can continue this activity uh, pushing to the upside, and there's no reason to believe that we can't looking at this chart, maybe a push back up here if those bulls find inspiration to continue to push on through, keeping in mind that if they pop through that area, then there is additional upside that we can make um, hitting some fairly significant resistance in the chart if we can continue to stretch this up. Now, once again, if those bears were to find inspiration, I'm gonna to continue to suggest that, that the only place we can really go is back down here toward those price support levels in the chart. So uh, keep an eye on that. And then if we um, take a look at our technicals here, we continue to stay extremely elevated here. This is a pretty darn parabolic look in the chart. So either we need a resting pullback, meaning consolidation for a longer period of time, or we could be subject to a rather painful pullback if those bears do engage. So just be prepared um, if that possibility does come around watching that close. Now, if we take a look at IWM, honestly, Honestly, I was a little bit surprised yesterday that IWM saw such a big surge of buying coming in. It looked like we were um, running into a little bit of price resistance right in here um, on the day. And then with that data kind of suggesting yesterday that the Fed was going to likely continue raising rates. As a matter of fact, all of the Fed speakers that come out continue to say, hey, well, we got more work to do. We're going to keep raising rates market doesn't care. So watching that in here, we surge back up here pretty strongly. We got a little bit of resistance right here in this chart. If you'll look right across here, a little bit of resistance in there. We'll see if we can push through that today. If the bulls find that um, inspiration, we'll want to keep in mind that we did fail this trend. And so that possibility that we could create a lower high in here, that possibility continues to exist. But with the relentlessness of these bulls, if we can find inspiration today, in the data. I have absolutely no allusion to the fact that we could continue to surge up here and retest this high here in IWM. If those bears happen to find something in that data to, that finally brings on the bears, then I would look for a retest back down in here and just keeping in mind that's a fairly big point move in the market. Once again, we are very far elevated away from our uh, moving averages. So you'll just want to keep that in mind, um, realizing that Rarely do we have a circumstance where we just only go up, but um, seems to be the case here at the moment. So let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX continues to drop, continues to decline. There's no fear in this market. We continue to see these reports that suggest the Fed is going to continue working on um, interest rates. We continue to see bond yields going up and the market doesn't care. Um, no fear here in this market. So as you can see, we're pressing back down here toward these um, recent lows here in the VIX. Now I continue to repeat this and I still believe this is true, that we are looking at a market that is showing extreme complacency. And what that means is that if we do get those bears to engage here, 
the shift or the reversal could be strong and it could be a little bit on the punishing side. So you'll want to be careful as we continue to extend um, this market to the upside. There's just um, there just is that possibility that that could occur. I'm not suggesting that it will or that it has to, that possibility that it could occur. So watch that closely. And if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 reversed back up yesterday and pushed up here. You can see kind of a flat um, hook up here on that day, unable to really continue to extend uh, much further than that yesterday. But as you can see, if we look at T2122, Based on the data today, if it's good and the bulls find inspiration there, we certainly have upside potential to test some of those resistance highs in the index charts. And if those bears find inspiration, we have certainly opened a pretty substantial downside opportunity as well if those bears were to suddenly come in and engage. But right now, there is no indication that that's going to be the case. If we look at our T2108, well, our T2108 continues to stay very extended. We were uh, pretty flat in here on T2108 yesterday, about 73% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. I will continue to point this out, however, that as we push back up to these resistance levels, this is a very rare situation where we can push above these levels and hold them very long um, but right now it again nothing seems to matter there's no news that is going to deter this market from the buying uh, frenzy that's going on at the moment if we see t2107 you'll see kind of the same thing here stretching back up here in those small caps pushing up um, in those charts, I say small caps because of the IWM extension yesterday, uh, continuing to push back up here, we've got 63, 64% of our stocks above their 200 day moving average. And once again, I'll point out that getting up here is a pretty rare circumstance that we can hold up here for very long. And, and just keep in mind that this chart goes back to 2017. So the only time we were really able to punch through here and get above is in that extreme extension or that over exuberant extension right at the end of 2021. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. And T2101, I don't think is giving us very good data here because if we look back at our um, economic or our uh, calendars, or excuse me, index charts, if you can see in here, um, low volume. Um, we continue to register this remarkably low volume. In fact, one of the members of Right Way Options said suspiciously low volume. As we continue to push to the upside, it has to be very select um, weighted stocks being pushed to the upside to continue this um, uh, this condition here on such low volume, but that's what's going on. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today. Now today we face another big round of reports that are potentially market moving and they're all going to come before the open today. We got housing starts and permits, jobless claims, Philly Fed, and the PPI final demand, which is another inflation reading here. So we'll want to watch those closely today. They're all out before the bell, so I would look for some volatility around that. Right now, futures are just kind of in the wait and see mode here. Um, a little bit pensive, I guess, um, waiting to see, not quite as much. Um, pushing and shoving to uh, um, provide us a gap up open like we see uh, lately. But watching those closely, anything is possible. Um, it, it's also uh, possible that these are going to come in better than expected and we continue to see that market surge back up. But you'll want to keep in mind that as we continue to see some of these uh, claims numbers and th things coming in better than expected, that continues to put pressure on the Fed to continue to raise rates and, and, and break the back of this market. So watch that close. And then um, probably the biggest thing later on in the day, um, we've got a 30 year bond auction out here to be paying attention to. There is a natural gas report and we have a bunch of Fed speakers, but most of them 
are going to be um, after the bell and we've been ignoring them anyway so it doesn't really matter so watch that as we move into Thursday we've got some more Fed speakers we've got a um, import export prices um, to worry about on uh, Friday but not much else and um, on the earnings calendar we're also going to see Friday be pretty light day of earnings. Now, having said that, we had kind of a rare circumstance where Wednesday was one of our bigger days of the week. Usually it's Thursday for those earnings reports. And so today we have um, a pretty sizable number of earnings reports to get through here today. So let me um, cover just a few of those and just keeping in mind that if you want to catch the full list of notables, you'll wanna click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can um, and grab a list of those notables. Let's take a look here. We're going to hear from stocks like um, AMT today. Keep an eye on that. American Tower has been trying to base here in that chart. We've got um, applied materials um, that will be reporting um, after the bell today. So keep an eye on you know, applied materials. One of the things that we've seen lately is just massive buying coming into stocks heading into the earnings report with absolutely no fear or concern um, uh, that they could report poorly. So watch that closely. Uh, we're going to hear from Crocs today. Um, keep an eye on that. Looks like Crocs has already reported surging up. And as you can see, they were just buying, buying, buying into that earnings report. No, no concern whatsoever. We've got Consolidated Edison that will be reporting today. We're going to hear from um, Hyatt Hotels. Um, we've got a report from Pool coming. We're going to hear from SQ today and uh, VMC, VMC, um, last but not least in there. And there's quite a few others to be paying attention to like Datadog and DoorDash and uh, DraftKings um, um, also reporting today. So keep an eye on those reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And um, also, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and share these videos out on the social me your social media feed. It helps the channel to continue to grow, and I just want to say thank you so much for doing that. Let's take a look at a few of these charts. A couple things I think that um, uh, are interesting that we're going to want to keep an eye on. I've mentioned this before. Um, U.S. dollar, UUP, is showing a nice little bullish pattern here. Um, and so let's keep an eye on that. If the dollar continues to move up, this would typically be bearish for um, stocks, but that's not the case right now. Um, um, we see the dollar moving back up and the market just continues to surge to the upside. This is a round of bottom breakout pattern. It's a very productive trading pattern. Um, so keep an eye on that. If the US dollar continues to strengthen, um, watch for that stretch back up here toward that 200 day moving average. Um, in that chart. Um, I think you um, also want to be keeping an eye on stocks like AMD. AMD um, holding that support level in here, continuing to extend. Now I will say I think this is a little bit on that parabolic side that it may need a little bit of rest in here. But again, that, it doesn't matter how much we stretch right now. Buyers just have a ravenous desire to buy. So keeping an eye on this area in here, watch. Um, as long as you can handle the risk, I should say. Um, 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 AMD continues to show quite a bit of bullishness in here in these charts. Take a look at CRWD. CRWD, whoops is a very nice looking uh, round of bottom breakout pattern here pushing up through that 50 you can see where my price alert was on that chart that pink line and we're stretching on up here to the upside so a little rest or pullback here now would continue to set up that opportunity to move on higher watch this trend in the chart certainly one to put on the list and keep an eye on here um you might want to look um um DKNG, um, DraftKings is going to be reporting today, and this has been surging to the upside here. What we've seen um, in these charts is just 
even if it reports bad, it only stays bad for about a day. We report bad, we gap down, and then immediately the buyers come rushing back in to buy it. And we've seen that over and over and over here this quarter on a bad report. So watch that closely. I think uh, moving in a trend, even if the even if the report is bad, look for that next opportunity to buy in there on DraftKings, breaking the downtrend, holding some support in the chart. Um, watch that closely. You might want to take a look at um, NVIDIA continues to um, extend to the upside um, with zero concern about the elevation that this thing has made. Um, all of a sudden in the chart, we're starting to crack some resistance levels or test some resistance levels here in the chart that are um, uh, quite some time ago. So watch that closely. Any consolidation, rest, or pullback would seem uh, to set up an opportunity um, in that chart. Take a look at Generac. Um, Generac is one I've been talking about for some time now, and Generac is, is now also receiving an upgrade today. Keep an eye on this. We continue to move up in this upside trend. Um, this is kind of stretched out for the short term here. Look for maybe a little rest or pullback and look for that next opportunity in Generac for that upside move. So keep an eye on these charts. There's quite a few out here moving around um, just about um, everywhere you look. There's uh, stocks stretching to the upside. This is a very parabolic run to the upside. We're pushing up toward these resistance levels. As you guys know, I've been talking about this one some, since all the way down in here because of China's uh, desire to be buying uh, or building a bunch of nuclear um, plants um, in their country. So I'm um, seeing a surge here in uranium. CCJ, UUU, U, um, setting up URA, um, trying to move to the upside here. So keep an eye on some of those um, uh, materials um, sector stocks in uranium so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to caution you to be careful there is that possibility that if the bears find reason to engage that we could have that very fast and painful reversal i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just saying the possibility does exist so consider carefully how long you might be this market as we continue to stretch but other than that enjoy the ride uh, the bulls are in control the bears don't seem to have any teeth at all so enjoy the ride um, as long as it can last y'all take care be safe and i'll see you right back here right at, um, excuse me i'll see you right back here for the friday um, edition of the morning market prep video i wish you all of the best take care everyone